Hey ghouls, 90th take. <laughs> We're here in Greenlawn Cemetery. I'm Sabrina. I'm Wendy. <laughs> and she's gonna talk a little bit about the amazing location that we're in, what it is, where it came from. And we're here to do a couple of things. We're gonna take a little bit of a look at Babyland, which is where Wendy is going to be heading up a little bit of restoration this summer. So I'll have her talk about that a little bit. And secondly, we're here to talk a little bit about um, some famous persons of color, Black History Month, and to talk about a couple of the graves that you can find right here in Greenlawn Cemetery. So Babyland's not very impressive area. It's smaller stones, over 100 years old, most of the graves, so most of the families aren't active anymore. One thing we'll do is we'll clean up the stones and then we'll reset them and hopefully level them out and, um, you know, hopefully they'll stay in place for another 100 years. It's a dedicated effort to restoring a really important section that doesn't get a lot of attention. Yes. So where does Babyland get its name? It's where the babies are buried. Not just babies, but children in general. Um, a lot of times, you know, the families hadn't contemplated their own deaths, so they hadn't bought family plots. So when a young one died, they maybe didn't have money to buy an area for the family to all rest together. So they could buy um, a plot in a section specifically for children. And why specifically did you pick this area for restoration? Um, simply because it's kind of an ignored section of the cemetery. Um, it doesn't have big names back here. The monuments aren't spectacular. So when they triage where to spend money, this isn't an area where the cemetery is going to um, divert the resources. So it seemed like a really good volunteer project. And also the stones are small, so we won't need a lot of fancy equipment to do the repairs. Okay, so and then the second thing that we're here to do is to take a look at, I think you said three individuals. Can you tell us their names? Yeah, so we've got Fail Hale Jr., who is a civil rights leader in Columbus and also on the national level. Clinton Graves, who was a Buffalo soldier. Um, we've all heard, we've the, all heard Bob the Bob Marley song. song, and he also was a Medal of Honor winner which is kind of a big deal for a person of color to have been awarded that. The Reverend James um, Poindexter, who um, did a lot in the Columbus area. He may not be known outside of Columbus as much, but he was a very influential community leader. Again, persons of color, wildly underrepresented in the um, famous graves section of things. Wendy was doing a lot of research for this, and I think primarily she found that everything is very whitewashed. Yeah, we had to dig really deep uh, to find representation because most of the um, websites that list famous burials um, in the cemetery were very uh, much old white men. Yeah. Um, and that's, you know, that's something I think we need to talk about too. So um, hopefully we'll have some future videos on that topic. Not everybody can be a couple of translucent white goth chicks <laughs> out in the graveyard, so. <laughs> okay, well, great. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this beautiful location that we're in? Yeah, this is the Huntington Chapel. It was built around the turn of the century. Um, the architect was Frank Packard, who designed a lot of uh, very famous buildings in Columbus and all over Ohio, um, including some structures here in the cemetery besides this one, some of the really um, spectacular mausoleums. And he's actually buried here too in his own mausoleum. I think we should do a video just about Frank Packard at some point in yes, the future. Yes, I agree. Um, the really stunning thing about this chapel is the stained glass windows were designed by Tiffany and company. Um, and also there are um, glass mosaics all throughout the chapel that were done by Tiffany and company. And also Fail Hale, one of our persons of color that we're highlighting today is actually buried right here in this mausoleum with his wife. So hopefully you can see the beauty of this location and how gorgeous it is and why places like this really need attention. They need preservation and they need people our age to be out and doing these things and, and to be getting interested. Hopefully you guys really enjoy this and you find some, some value in it. If you have any ideas or things that you'd like us to talk about or cover, let us know. Throw it in the comments and um, what is everybody supposed to say? Like and subscribe? <laughs> so anyway. Uh, thanks. <laughs>